I'd reach down and get the side of that head stall with my right hand, pull it up like this, and I'd be real careful not to get it in either eye. I want that head stall between his eyes. And I'd pull them snaffle bits up uh, above his chin there so he can't come out of it. And I'd change hands with that, with that bridle. And I get those bits, I get that gathered up, and I'm real careful again not to get that in his eye. I get those bits way up here uh, close to his jaw. That way, when I, my hand starts down here, here, back that foot up here, my friend. When my hand starts down here, if he starts to take his head up or down or wherever, like that, my hand can just stay with it. I'm in no hurry here. As he works his mouth, I just pick that up and I already got it on the left ear here. Just let it slide over that right ear real easy. And uh, it's way too long. It's real easy just to slip down here and, and uh, shorten it up. But they'll get so, they'll get so they'll help you put that bridle on there. I'm gonna take this off and do it again. And I won't go quite so slow. He kind of got, he kind of got lost thinking we ought to get this done and go do something else. And you could do the same thing uh, taking that part, that bridle off a young horse. Before you go take it off, you're pretty upset, aren't you? Get it out there long so it comes over his ears real easy. And slip that off and he can get to work in his mouth there because he's relaxed and, and let that snaffle bit come out. So we'll bridle him, I'll give him a minute to look around here. We'll bridle him again and see how much he can help me. And come up here, or like that. And so by the time this bridle gets there, he should be ready to help me.